Go ahead. Pastor Kiel Cummings here from Ebenezer Assembly of Christ in Cleveland. Uh, God has just been doing wonderful things with us here as far as seeing the church get involved and excited about inviting visitors to our, our harvest sessions. Um, Bishop Horn has come in, has organized us, prepared us, trained us, and uh, we're following biblical principles. And it's been a beautiful thing seeing how God has been filling the house. We thank God for the souls that have come in, those that have received the Holy Spirit, those that have been baptized. And, you know, we, we look to just put it in God's hands. We have a heart for the souls and for the people. And if you have that heart and your church isn't growing, then I think you need to look into this harvest celebration. So I have a question. How many people people uh, where the goal was and how many people your church actually invited and how many people actually showed up to the harvest in these last five weeks just an estimation so I got of you. how so many people our, our, our goal was 500 and we hit about that 300 <clears throat> maybe 318 mark um, and yeah, yeah, we hit that mark, and we've had about 50% success, which, you know, we were surprised about that number. So we had about 150 people come through the building, so we're grateful for that. But even though we didn't reach that 500, we're going to look to hit the next 200 uh, to, to reach our goal, because we want to reach the goal. Is it worth the investment and the time to, to do a program like this? When you look at the investment in time, I think that if you care about bringing people in, it's definitely worth it. When we look at value, we place value on a number of different things, and it, it boils down to what we care to invest in. And for our church, it was important in this year of evangelism to reach out and bring souls in. So, yes, it was worth it. So what would you say, the last, last question I have, to the church that's really stuck, the pastor's? that really want to see a real harvest, an increase of people, what would you encourage them to do regarding this program? I'm going to encourage you. If, I mean, if you care about souls and you care about harvesting, you want to bring people in, then you got to put forth the effort. you got to put forth the effort. And as Bishop Warren likes to say, if you work it, it works. So if, you, if you're willing to come and do the work. Now, hey, if, if you're not going to do the work, then not going to work. What you sow, you reap. So if you're not sowing, there's going to be nothing to reap. So I would encourage you to look into the Harvest Program. That this could be a blessing to you and to your church um, if you're ready to do the work. The Harvest is plenty, but the labor is a few. Could you tell us the name of your church and what city you're in? Ebenezer Assembly of Christ, Cleveland, Ohio. God bless you. Thank you.